today's top gimmick is selective grading. Now, a lot of touts will claim that they're transparent and open about their long-term records, but the thing is, a lot of them cherry-pick their grading. They use a lot of smoke and mirrors tactics to embellish or flat-out lie about what their long-term record actually is. Now, there's a ton of different ways that touts will grade selectively. The most common one is grading versus stale lines. They'll make a play, but they'll grade versus the best available line that that play was being offered at during the week. So if they gave out all their clients the Colts minus four, but at some point the Colts were at minus one during the week, the tout will grade at the minus one. They'll also grade versus unavailable lines. Like if at some point during the week you could have got the Colts at plus one, even if that line only existed for like 10 seconds, the tout using this gimmick will grade against that plus one. Even if that plus one was offered at some obscure, no-name sportsbook that nobody has access to. They'll find some random book in Uzbekistan offering the Colts plus three, and then give out the Colts plus three to all their clients, but then their clients are like, well, the only line I can get here is Colts minus two, then the client will either be forced to buy the Colts minus two or not make the play at all, but the tout sure as hell is going to grade against the Colts plus three. Touts will also give out stale lines to their clients. So if like the Colts on Wednesday are minus three, but now on Friday it's minus five, they'll give out the minus three to their clients on Friday even though the line no longer exists. And then they'll grade against the minus three. Touts will even say on their own website that they grade against the best available line that existed. It's not even something they hide. A lot of times touts will give out free plays and grade it as a win if it wins, but say it doesn't count if it loses. And this way they'll get all these free plays that won into their average and long-term record while not having to count the losses. Touts will also be selective when it comes to scratches and games that go off the board. For example, in baseball, if a pitcher gets scratched and they're on a play, they won't count the game if that game loses, but they will count the game if it won. So say the tout gave out the Dodgers with Clayton Kershaw pitching, and then Clayton Kershaw gets scratched, right? And say the Dodgers still win anyway. The tout will still grade that as a win, but if the Dodgers lose, then the tout won't grade it and scratch it from the record saying it doesn't count because the game went off the board and only listed pitchers count. A tout will do the same with injuries. If they're on a team that has a key injury like a quarterback gets out and they still win, they'll count it. Otherwise, they won't count it saying it doesn't count because the quarterback got hurt. And sometimes a tout just won't count a game at all for no reason. They'll just say they forgot to grade it. Or they'll just add a game they were never on as a win for no reason and just say they forgot to give it out. Sometimes touts will grade against lines that never even existed. And then when they get called out on it, they'll forget to scratch from the record. It'll be in the long-term record forever if it won. Overall, all these gimmicks that touts use to grade add up and can turn a 50% record into a 55% record easily. So whenever you hear a tout say that they're transparent about their long-term records and they're open and honest, be skeptical because chances are they're using a lot of smoke and mirrors gimmicks to embellish their record into something that's not actually true.